five, four, three, two, one, fire. Welcome to the pregame. I'm Ken O'Brien. Oh, what a difference one week makes in the CFL for the Ottawa Red Blacks. Last week, many believed they had lost their mojo as they struggled in an overtime loss to the Hamilton Tiger Cats. But after a win over the Winnipeg Blue Mobbers on the road, they now find themselves Eastern Conference champions and looking forward to hosting the Eastern Conference Championship. But in the short term, they have a date with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers here Friday night at TD Place. And the big question is, what roster will you see as the Red Blacks line up to trade paint with the blue and gold? Quarterbacks is Brock, Jensen, and Danny O'Brien are going to play. Trevor's going to be the third, and Henry's not going to dress. Friday night, the 44 guys we dressed, we're going to be all in to try to win it. How so tough is the decision going into this game to rest some guys knowing that Winnipeg has got a lot to play for? Well, we I know they have a lot to play for. We do, too. We want to play good football, but, uh, you know, the big prize on the on November 20th is we just want to make sure we're making good decisions health-wise on our guys. Uh, it's been a long season, uh, but it'll only be a small group of guys that we don't dress, and a, a bunch of other guys will be there, and the 44 that uh, show up is, you know, we expect to, to play well and compete hard. It's good for the young guys to be able to get in there and uh, get some good work in, but like you said, it, it keeps uh, it keeps myself healthy. Uh, I can, you know, get some of the bumps and bruises that I have healthy and get fresh and ready to go for uh, the big game in a couple weeks. As complicated as the game of football can be, it's actually quite simple. If you can eliminate turnovers and penalties, you give yourself a better chance to win, and that has certainly been the case for the Red Blacks. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it boils down to, especially when you have the talent and with the parity in this league, uh, there's not much separation as far as from the talent level from team to team. Yeah. And especially when you're in the playoffs, because everybody in all three phases is very good, and uh, that's the reason why they're in the playoffs. So uh, it, it, it boils down to teams uh, hurting themselves, and the two biggest categories are internals and penalties, because yeah. it takes you off the field. It's a huge momentum swing in, in many different ways. It negates big plays, especially by penalty. And uh, so therefore, you know, you want to keep momentum on your side, and especially when you're playing at home. It's all about keeping your crowd involved. Hurry, hurry, sit up. I'm like a broken record when I talk about uh, keeping it positive yeah. and, and uh, limiting the penalties and uh, creating turnovers. And when you do that in pro football, it it's definitely stacks the odds in your favor. And so we'll be continuing to, to work on that. Congratulations go out to Red Blacks linebacker Taylor Reed and running back Moses Madu. Both have been recognized as CFL performers of the week. I've always been taught throughout football, especially in college, that the run game sets up the pass game. You know, I've been put, that's been put into my head, so you know, so it sticks with me. And you know, when, when we run the balls, because we did last game, it's opened up a lot of things for us. On a personal level as well, it's huge. I mean, coming in, getting getting you know my chance late in the year, and just you know, I'm, I'm trying to do all I can to prove to the coach that I can play. You know, and I'm, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. You know, Andrew Harris kind of knew what, what to expect going into that game. And uh, like you said, man, just uh, Coach Nelson had a great, uh, and the rest of the defense coaches had a great game plan uh, that allowed not only myself, but uh, Maso uh, as well to make a lot of plays. So Brock Jensen gets the start Friday night with Daniel O'Brien backing him up and Trevor Harris playing third string. And Henry Burris get a chance to watch the game from either the sidelines or the press box. And game day is Friday night. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers here at TD Place. Tickets still available, 7 p.m. kickoff. Hope to see you at the ballpark. This is the pregame with Ken Rare.